hello guys and welcome to my channel today we will be talking about system.timers.timer so in our previous videos we have seen how we can use system.threading.timer and how can we use system.windows.forms.timer and we have seen the difference the system.threading.timer runs on thread pool threads it uses th threads from thread pool to execute its callback and we saw that system.windows.forms.timer runs on the GUI thread it always runs on the GUI thread so if you block your GUI thread the timer will not fire the event will not raise the event and this this uh, this timer system dot timers dot timer actually can be used in both manner it's a kind of hybrid timer you can use it like a system dot threading dot timer or you can configure it to use like system dot windows dot forms dot timer that means you can configure this timer to raise its events or to raise its event on GUI thread or you can configure it to raise its event on thread pool threads and let's see by the examples so here in it's a console application we use this uh, threading timer now we have changed the type of this timer from system dot threading dot timer to system dot timers dot timer which lives in the namespace system dot timers and now we can create an object of this timer like timer equals to new timer and then it has two overloaded constructors you can either use the default constructor which takes no parameter or you can use another overloaded version which takes interval we can say we can use this so our interval will be 1000 milliseconds and then we have timer dot uh, enabled equals to true that's same as we had in the win system dot windows dot forms dot timer then we can dot it has an event called elapsed occurs when the interval elapses and we can subscribe to this event by just pressing plus equals to tab tab and then we have our event handler here and if we can print some messages CW let's see first what we can see we can use the thread ID so we can we know that it's running on some other threads thread dot current thread dot manage thread ID and then we can just print out date time dot now date time dot now like this so if we run this let's see yeah main and main thread was yeah, and then it's running on thread 4 from thread pool we can actually print out the ID of main thread thread dot current thread dot manage thread ID thread ID of main, main thread is 1 but our event is raised the timer el elapsed event is raised on thread 4 which is coming from thread pool let's see what else we have here the timer also has a property called auto reset it gets or sets a boolean indicating whether the system dot timer should raise the system dot timers dot timer elapsed event only once or repeat repeatedly I don't know when you want to use it it's like you want to fire it once and then you want to disable it you could do it 
here you fire once and then you disable it timer dot timer dot enable equals to false it's like this uh, so it should not run it should run only once like it's a stop now but you can do it in another way like you can see if you don't have access to this timer object or reference to this timer then you can say false and this will have the same effect that means you are saying you will use or you will fire this event only once and then it will be disabled like this um, let's see timer and yeah we can we can use like if if our timer dot left event handler takes more time then the interval which is one second in this case this will be this will behave exactly the same like system dot threading dot timer so there will be another thread from thread pool which will raise the event uh, timer dot elapsed and we can demonstrate it by just sleeping here for two seconds and we will come on another thread four and then let me see system dot Why don't we come here? Yeah, correct. Because we have said it should disable automatically. And now, I think main 4 and 5. You remember, it's coming on another thread. It's not waiting. 58, 59, it's running per second. Even though we are waiting, sleeping this thread for two seconds so it's a re-entrant re yes yeah, so this was now in this example we saw that how we can use system dot timers dot timer in the similar fashion as it was system dot threading dot timer but in the next example we can see how we can use it like system dot windows dot forms dot timer and for that, let's uh, go to our, I have created a simple WinForm project and we can set it to be our startup project. And there we have here we have system.windows.forms timer, but let's convert it to timers dot timer and then then we created system dot timers dot timer and then we have interval enable true and instead of tick then we have timer dot elapsed plus equals to and then we can let's see if we can access this at this point actually we should get some we should get exception like yeah cross thread operation because now it's running or it's behaving like a system dot threading dot timer so this event is raised on thread pool thread we can configure it so that it raises this event on GUI thread and, and what we can do we can use this synchronizing object we can tell it that it should synchronize the event or it should marshal the event on the GUI thread and it will pick this GUI thread from this and this synchronizing object is of type I synchronize invoke interface and this this is the reference to our form one object 
and form 1 derives from form form derives from container control container control device blah 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 and then it derives from control and in this chain the control actually implements i synchronize invoke interface and now what will happen if we run this now it will not crash because if you see it's printing the id which is one gui thread id and now it's printing the time without crashing and actually this behaves it's now sim it's behaving exactly in the same fashion at as system.windows.forms.timer so it will block if you block it block this thread that your GUI thread will freeze if we say thread.sleep for five seconds then it will freeze see now it's freezed for five seconds like this so nothing actually happened so it was freezed forever actually because we were we were doing we uh, it was fired from the constructor yeah so do you get the idea so system dot timers dot timer is a timer which can be used like in both uh, in both ways like system dot threading dot timer or system dot windows dot forms dot timer i think that's it for system dot timers dot timer if you have any questions please write in the comment section and that's it for this video goodbye